This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I'm absolutely thrilled to be speaking with the incredible visual artist and photographer from Peak Skill. This is Mr. Brian Fass. Hello, Brian. How are you? I'm doing okay. Brian, it is so, I'm, doing, I'm doing well, thank you. Listen, I want to know first and foremost where you were born and when did you realize that you had this love of art? Well, I, I grew up in, in Manhattan and I, I went on the Upper East Side and I lived in Manhattan for 48 years. And, I, I, and then I moved out to uh, Peekskill about six years ago. Um, and I actually got into film first. I was a cinematographer for about 15 years in the film industry. And actually, I, I won a couple of awards for my work. Um, and, but I had, I had, when I was a teenager, I discovered photography. So my father was an avid photographer. He was like the family photographer, took all the pictures. And that kind of, that's where I got the initial bug and I always took pictures and it wasn't until uh, 2010 that I rediscovered photography. Um, I had become, I had been emerged from a very bad period of my life. I was in a, a deep dark depression for many years and I had a breakthrough and I grew up a block from Central Park. And I started going to the park slowly and surely, day after day, just to kind of broaden my horizons after this bad period. And one day I picked up a camera, a digital camera, and I started taking pictures in the park. And I one day I took a picture of a, of a musician, a busking musician, and that started the bug. That was my subject, musicians of Central Park. And close to 50,000 pictures later, I had been taking pictures of musicians in Central Park exclusively. And that is my artwork, musicians of the park. And I incorporate that in all my, all my work. And all my work is rooted in those pictures that I took of the musicians. Um, so that, that's where I got. So my initial uh, love of photography, while it took a back seat when I was in, in the, the world of film, it was always there. And it took a while for it to reemerge. Uh, and it did in a, in a, in a big way. That's unbelievable, Brian. My dogs are so excited. As you can tell, <laughs> they are barking up a storm, but they were quiet while you were speaking, at least. <laughs> I want to know, Brian, and again, I apologize. They're so oh, excited. It's all right. It's all right. Talk to me a little bit about the digital camera and what you love most about using that specific type of camera. Well, actually... It's not digital that I love the most because um, part of my, one of my jobs is I work in Central Park where I take Polaroid pictures of people for money. Um, and this came out of, back in 2014, I went to Central Park to start to sell my photography at the mall, uh, I, the, the long strip in the, in the middle of the park. Um, and I just one day I had the idea of bringing my Polaroid camera to attract people, charge people for pictures and attract them to my work. And what happened was the Polaroids took off and selling my artwork kind of took a side, side seat. And that Polaroid, uh, idea blossomed into a project, which I came about early on in doing this, where 
I would ask people after I took a Polaroid picture of them, if they would pose for a film picture holding their Polaroid. And it's a project called Central Park Polaroid. And I've taken over 5,000 pictures. And I also do interviews. I've done over 500 interviews, just like something like what we were doing today, but I might do it on the, on the bench in the park near where I take the Polaroid picture of them and I have them talk about their Polaroid. Uh, so I have a project and it, it all blossomed out of film photography. So it, it all rooted in Polaroids and it's all analog. And that's my true love because my, my background in photography uh, comes out of film and digital only came later. Um, that's, that's my roots, film. That's incredible, Brian. Wow. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Your story is absolutely inspirational. And it is a reminder for all artists that if and when you might be ever in an ebb within this ebb and a flow journey as humans and artists, it's that you just keep going and you never know where you're going to gain inspiration. I am so excited you're coming on board Phoenix 360 as one of its artists. And I'm so excited now more than ever, Brian, that there are people out there in the world like you who are spreading their love and light through their artwork. And thank you so much for your time today.